This is not before opening hours. This is not after opening hours. This is the Hummer area during opening hours of press day at the LA International Auto Show. There's nobody here. I'm not sure if they don't care or if they're too embarrassed to be seen around one of these right now. Let me show you the cars that are attracting crowds. Things got off to a sporty start with the new Nissan 370Z. Tasty new looks and a bigger 3.7 liter V6 doing 332 horsepower, but the Roadster will continue for now as the old 350. Kind of odd. Ford revives the Mustang for 2010 with a more aero look front and rear and a nicely improved interior. Power also up to 315 horsepower from the basic 4.6 V8. BMW putting diesel in the showroom for the first time in the form of the 335D. Monstrous torque means 0 to 60 in 6.1 with no diesel clatter while getting 23 city and 33 highway. But 45 grand? Let's check back at Hummer. No, nope, still nobody. The Mini Cooper E is electric and electrified the show floor. Too bad you can't buy one. Only 500 will be joining a test fleet for lease in California, New York, and New Jersey as a form of market research. Honda needs to catch up to Toyota in hybrid buzz rather badly, so the new Insight has its work cut out for it. In person, it's a good looking car, if rather Prius-like. A sub $20,000 base price almost guarantees a hit. Porsche raised the horsepower on the Boxster and the Cayman and gave the former a new face and the latter a new rump. And both can now be had with the new PDK dual clutch automated manual tranny. Porsche files are drooling all over both. Here's the new Lexus RX 450H hybrid crossover, restyled inside and out. But what we like the most is the new remote touch interface in the cabin, a new way to control and navigate the LCD screen's functions. Speaking of cool interfaces, check out Mercedes My Command prototype. Everything you see it can do, nav, media, communication, and more, is all done over the internet rather than using resources in the car. Hey, where's Hyundai's hybrid? Huh, here it is. Well, most of it. This is the guts of a pending Sonata hybrid that will use lithium polymer batteries, which Hyundai says will leapfrog the entire industry. Speaking of missing hybrids, Ford's Fusion and sibling the Mercury Milan were finally rolled out in hybrid form. And the green car of the year, that went to the VW Jetta TDI with 30 city and 41 highway while delivering lower air pollution scores than the same car with a gas engine. I don't think Hummer was nominated. 